Welcome to Star Wars Transmissions, I'm Dan. Alyssa Wong's Dr. Aphra has been a super fun ride so far, and its most recent issue was one of my favorite of the series. In it, Dr. Aphra and company encountered an ancient device known as the Thought Dowser, and I have to say this device was pretty badass. So what the heck is a Thought Dowser, and what does it do? Before we dive in, please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so much for your support as it really helps out the channel. With that out of the way, let's discuss Dr. Aphra number 15 and the Thought Dowser. Thought Dowsers were powerful devices that were supposedly made of a material that amplified one's thoughts. They were once used by an ancient dark side cult known as the Ascendant, as well as the Sith. According to Aphra, the Sith used thought dowsers to teach their apprentices how to compel and manipulate people by channeling one's will. In theory, Aphra believed that the device could be operated by anyone, but stated they were most powerful when wielded by force sensitives. In the hands of a dark side force user or a Sith, the results of using a thought dowser could be crushing. Dr. Aphra number 15 saw our favorite rogue archaeologist and her crew come upon and use a thought dowser as the assassin Deathstick and Crimson Dawn thugs were preparing to do away with Aphra and company. As a last ditch effort, Dr. Aphra activated the thought dowser, hoping she could use it to fight back Deathstick and Crimson Dawn. To activate it, she had to exploit a loophole in the thought dowser's design, connecting the right circuits in it to power it up. Right before she activated it, she noticed that the thought dowser radiated such malevolence that she could actually taste it, saying it gave off a taste of ash in her mouth. Once she activated the Thought Dowser, she was easily able to use it to compel and manipulate her would-be attackers into stabbing themselves just by thinking it. As she wielded the device, however, it physically took its toll on her, which is something that's common when individuals tap into the dark side. Not only did Aphra's nose begin to bleed as she used the Thought Dowser, but it eventually became fried, burning Aphra's arm, destroying her electro tattoos and itself in the process. Right before the Thought Dowser scorched Aphra's arm, she noted that she could actually hear it, that it was prying into her mind and demanding things. While we've seen the likes of the Sith compel and manipulate people in canon before, like when Vader nearly made Ezra Bridger slice his own throat with his own lightsaber, or when Ezra forced an Imperial Walker pilot to turn on his comrades and commit suicide, using a device such as a Thought Dowser is such an awesome concept. Manipulating and compelling someone to do whatever it is that you want them to do is as dark side as it gets, and the idea that there could be a device that would allow allow a non-force sensitive being to do this is just so cool. The cover of Dr. Aphra number 17 sees our homegirl holding a thought dowser, so this is most likely not the last we've seen of this ball and ass device. So I'd love to know your thoughts. Would you guys like to see thought dowsers appear again in canon or learn more about how the Sith use them? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really hoping that we get to learn more about the Sith's use of thought dowsers and can't wait to see where Aphra's story takes her next. But what do you guys think? What's your thoughts on the dark side? artifact, the Thought Dowser. Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.